Hi Stitchy friends, I'm Lynn and I'm the Lancashire Stitcher. Um, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My channel is about cross stitch mainly, but I do include other crafts as and when I do them. Um, if you're returning, welcome back. It's nice to see you all again. Um, you have no idea how how humble I, I feel at, that you all watch my video. Um, today is Saturday the 19th of December uh, 2020, um, less than a week to go till Christmas. Uh, um, I'm going to start by showing you the giveaway. Um, I drew it uh, just before I did this video and I'll include it here. Okay, so I'm going to do the draw for the giveaway. Um, I had 136 comments, so let's see who's won it. Come on. Brit Girl Friday. My favourite Christmas tradition is family sitting down to a meal together. Great plans for next year. Good luck on getting top of your health situation and congrats on your impending new granddaughter. So, well done to... Brit Girl Friday, um, if you add a comment below, uh, I'll leave a comment on your comment. So if you send me an email or comment on Instagram, I will uh, post it out to you. Um, congratulations. Um, this is Floss Tube number eight. Um, I only had one question on the last video. Um, Teresa asked me, where do I get my fabrics from? So hand dyed fabrics I usually buy from Paul Stitches but I do buy from Sparklies and Crafty Kitten too and other fabric I either buy from Lakeside Needle Crafts or from Willow Cra Fabrics. I'll put links to all those in the description box below. Um, I've had to put the big light on today, <laughs> big light. Um, it's quite dull outside, it looks like it's going to pour down, so it might. It looks a bit brighter in here today. I've not got the sun beaming in like usual. Um, finishes, right, I have one fully finish, which I'll have to put a picture up here of the front and back. It's the um, first Christmas ornament that I made for my granddaughter, B. Um, I sent it to my daughter in Wales the other last week and it's now hanging on our Christmas tree. Um, the other finish I've got is my PlayStation controller which is a needle and floss chart from Etsy. I'll put a link below. I've stitched this for my husband for his Christmas present. I'm going to frame it so I'll frame it during the week next week while he's still at work and then I can get it to him on Christmas Day. So that's that. Um, uh, whips start as always with my One Nation by Bygone Stitches. Um, I'm stitching this as part of the One Nation Sal hashtag. Um, one state and one star a week. And here we go. I'm just going to hold it up because it's getting big now. So I've done Texas and Iowa this time. Whoops. And I'm really happy with how this is going. So, yeah, stitching using all the cold fire colours on a piece of Belfast linen. My next one is Let There Be Peace by Imaginating. I'm stitching this on a piece of 14 count sparkly Ada that was in my stash and that's how much I've got done. Really happy with the progress. It was nice stitching on Ada again. Um, using all the Colfar DMC colours. Really nice snowmen there. My next one is the drawn thread, random thoughts. I really like stitching on this too. This was a kit from Nimble Thimble, so I'm, I'm assuming it's the cold fire fabric and that's my progress. Um, I finished the verse, and the, which is over, one over one, 
and the little heart's over one and the rest is over two. It's just one over two. So yeah, really happy with that. My next one is Hurling Christmas Sampler by the Victoria Sampler. I'm stitching this longer version of it. This has been one of my whips for a long time. And I'll start at the top and we'll go there. And this time, let me just get it there. I've stitched the candles and the poncettias. So yeah, really happy with that. Um, as I've said in a previous video, it's these pulled thread bits that I don't like doing. <laughs> and then there's a really big bit at the bottom, so I'm not looking forward to that. But we'll see how it goes when I get to it. So yeah, that's how it looks at the minute. The next one is Egypt Garden by Chatelaine. I printed off the picture on a piece of photo paper. Um, I bought this, um, according to my computer, I bought this about 12 years ago as a PDF and I was using it as a PDF. But then, as you will see in a second, I did this much and I posted a picture on Instagram to show my progress and somebody pointed out that this, all this round here, should be green. <sighs> yeah. Um, I'll put a picture up here um, of the key. I printed out the key when, when I saw this comment and um, I noticed that there's two symbols that are very similar and I'd gone for the wrong one. I'd only seen the one. Um, so and each of each stitch of this is done separately because it's variegated thread. So I'm not undoing it all. I'm sorry, but I'm not frogging it. Um, by the time this is finished, you won't be able to notice it anyway. Um, I just thought it's unique. It'll be unique. So yeah, that's my progress on Egypt Garden. There we go. The next one. Close the book. There we go. It's Crafty Cat by Margaret Sherry. This was a chart in this booklet, which came free with Cross Stitcher magazine a few years ago. And I'm stitching this on Ada fabric as well. And that's my progress. As you can see, we've got a face on the cat. I've done his whiskers. I've done the back stitch around his head. I did some of this stitching down here, but basically I finished the cat apart from back stitching. Pardon me. Apart from the back stitching around his body. The next one is my Christmas list by Silver Creek Samplers. Been stitching this for a while. And this is how much I've got done. Again, it's been stitched on a piece of pole stitches fabric, but I'm not sure what it is. I didn't used to record what fabric I was stitching on. I used to just pick one that I liked and stitch on it. Um, this time I've done candles going. I did the candle. I've done the little mug and then hot cocoa. So yeah, I'm really happy with that. The next one is Song of Christmas. Um, I lost the, chat, the picture for this a very long time ago. Um, I'll put a picture up here of what it looks like. Um, but yeah, I started this a long time ago and that's my progress. So this time I did a bit of the tree. Let me show you. Let's get my board. It will stay up. There we go. Right. So I did it over here, this bit of the tree, but then I also did the whisper thread in this bit of his sleeve. So yeah, really happy with how that's coming along. Mm -hmm. My next one is I Am A Stitcher by Cherry Wood Design, Cherry Wood Design Studios. I'm doing this colourway, which is the dark colourway. And I'm stitching this on a piece of 28 count Brittany Lugana in Morning Mist shade by Paul Stitches. And that's what I've got done. 
so this time I finished off this flower at the bottom I did to the past and I did the future so I really like this it's apparently it's going to be really big when it's finished so yeah that's another one okay so next time I do my video it will be the 2nd of January so I thought I'd talk about what I'm going to stitch on as part of the January ac acrostic. So Quicks and Stitches, who does the cross acrostic sheets, these, um, she has done um, a choice this year for next year. So you get a choice of two different um, sayings. Um, or you can do a mixture from pick 12 from each of the two so the one I've picked I'll put a link down below to Quicks and Stitches Etsy shop where you can get these from the one I've picked is Serial Starts so for January this is alongside my New Year New Start and the Letters of the Month sell that I'm also going to be doing next year so Serial starts. So for S, I've picked Stitch by Stitch by Blackbird Designs. Now, I couldn't, I've misled the chart for this. It is around somewhere. I'll show it in my next video. Um, but it should have been in my whip box, but it wasn't. So I don't know where it's disappeared to. Obviously, I'll have to find it to, to carry on stitching it. But this is my progress on that so far. So as you can see, we've got a lot of over one, one over one. And this is a call for thread, a call for fabric. Um, it uses two colours because you do a, a bit in a different colour over this side and then sort of the two together. Um, but yeah, this I started this quite a while ago, um, but I would like to get it finished. So yeah, that's, that's going to be in my January acrostic. So stitch by stitch by Blackbird Designs. I'll put a picture up anyway to show you what it should look like when it's finished. My next one is E, which is Egypt Garden, which I showed you before, my Chatelaine. R is Random Thoughts by The Drawn Thread that I showed you earlier. And then I is I Am A Stitcher by Cherrywood Design Studio, which I showed you earlier. And then A is going to be my Amaryllis Lenart kit, which is my letter A on the letters of this month's cell. Um, so I'm going to make that on this as part of my acrostic challenge. Um, and I'll be doing at least six hours on it to fulfil the letters of the month's cell. And then L is going to be another new start. And it's going to be my World Peace Angel by Lavender and Lace. L for lavender and lace, obviously. So yeah, making start on that next month, and then S for sit starts is going to be Stargazer by Memorabilia. I'm stitching this. Um, it's I'm doing a, a red conversion, and that's my progress so far. So I'm going to stitch another four hours on this. Again, it's a pull stitches fabric, not sure which one. So, yeah, there we go. And then, where are we up to? T is Through the Storms by Silver Creek Samplers. So, again, this is, is being stitched on, the, grab, on a grab bag piece of pull stitches fabric, so I'm not sure what's shared. And that's my progress so far. So I'm going to stitch on that next month. And then A is going to be Autumn ABCs by Little House Needleworks. I'm stitching this on a two-tone banding that I bought from um, Knitting and Stitching Show in Harrogate last year. And that's my progress. So I'll try and get a bit further down this time. As you may remember, I'd run out of yield gold to finish the leaves off, but I do have some now, so I can uh, make a start on that. 
I'm going to finish it while I've at least finished the leaves off and move down then. Okay. R is going to be Raven Queen, which is another one that I've um, lost the picture for. Um, so I do have the charts, as you can see. Again, this is being stitched on a piece of pulse stitches fabric, but I don't know what colour it is. And that's my progress so far. Nice stitching on this. I'm hoping to maybe move down on a dress this time. And then T is going to be Three Little Maids by Heritage Crafts. This was a kit that I bought a while ago. Made a start and then, yeah, it ended up in my whip box. So there it is. There's my, there's the three little maids as you, as you saw in the picture, but I've only got two at the moment. I need to fill in his, his chest though, and then I can move on to the next one. So yeah, it's a cute design. Just need to get on with it. And then S is going to be, hmm, um, I'm umming and ahhing which one to do of these. Spring by the Cricket Collection or Springtime by New York Dreamer. I'm not sure which one I'll do yet. I'm going to do one of them. So, yeah. I know they're quite big when they're done, but I'm, uh, I don't like that one too. I don't know. I'll, I'll decide between now and the 1st of January. <laughs> I'll let you know in my next video. So, yeah, it's going to be one of those. Um, haul. I do have a bit of haul and also some happy mail. So, haul first. I bought some 32 count antique white Belfast linen. Looking a bit yellow with the light. Um, I got this from Lakeside Needle Crafts. It's a 70 centimetre by 100 centimetre piece. So, that's just for general use. And then I bought Reindeer Games by Erica Michaels. So it's in the cellophane, so we're getting a bit of glare. I got this from Nimble Thimble. And then I also bought Olga by Plum Street Samplers. I got this from Peakside. Um, it's the partner piece to Boris, which is going to be my other January Letters of the Month piece. So, yeah. And then my Happy Mail, um, we did a Christmas exchange um, on the group I'm in um, with some friends um, and my partner had wrapped the ornament that I was, that she'd made with the charts. You got, you picked three charts um, that you wanted and then the person who you was your partner chose one of them to get for you and, and send it to you. And the one she got for me was the Prairie School at Autumn Leaves. So I think I'll be starting this next year sometime. So yeah, I really like these Prairie School charts. So yeah, so that was my happy mail. So yeah, um, as far as the life update is concerned, um, yeah, uh, nothing much has changed. My daughter's okay. The one, uh, Sammy, who's pregnant, um, baby's doing fine. Uh, I've not worked a great deal over the last few weeks. I've done a bit, but nowhere near as much as what would normally happen. Um, I'm, it's obviously school holidays now till the fourth of January. Um, Health-wise, um, I started a diabetes prevention course the other day. Um, it's a Zoom Zoom meeting, um, as everything is these days. Um, so yeah, you just they just uh, encourage you to exercise and eat healthily, um, to help talk about um, hidden sugars in food and um, stuff like that. Um, I also, I've also been put on some strong painkillers for my foot because my foot's been causing me problems for over a month. Apparently the doctor thinks it's arthritis because I broke it a few years ago. So yeah, fun and games. Um, <laughs> um, my husband 
just gone playing golf today finally <laughs> but yeah um he's got another couple of days to work he finishes on wednesday i think um and then we're we've got christmas week at home and um, we're hoping well no yeah we're hoping to go to my mum's for christmas dinner Um the government has said that you can meet up with up to three other households um there are murmurings of that, that that could change today but we'll see because apparently there's a new strain of the virus going around um and there was a mention of boris johnson doing a, a news briefing later so we'll see what happens then but at the moment the plan is to go to my mum's for christmas dinner um other than that yeah not a lot i'm going to be doing stitching i've got some knitting to do um i'm knitting a, a fleecy hoodie for my grandson noah um i've been doing it for a while just haven't finished it <laughs> so yeah i've got that i'm also trying to knit myself uh, crochet myself a pair of crocodile stitch gloves which i hope will show you next time and also um what else am i making oh the doll i'm still trying to i need to finish the doll i'm not trying it's just not been touched for a while um i've done the head and the body i've done the arms i've done the legs it just needs putting back putting together Pardon me and i need to knit her dress she has like a pinafore dress that i need to knit so hopefully i'll get get onto that i've put it on my i have one of those um three tier trolley things next to where i sit in the living room and i've put it on the top of that so i know it's there and i can see it all the time i just need to get on with it um but other than that yeah um nothing has changed like i said we're still in lockdown um tier three lockdown um so yeah nothing else changed really so again i'll make another video on the 2nd of january and um, when all this is over <laughs> so i hope everyone has a, a wonderful christmas um enjoy the little things i think we need to this year um make and savor the little things um have a really nice relaxing time um, and I'll see you in 2021. Bye for now.